Good morning, everyone. Great to have you here. Um, another day of Flat Belly Friday. Whoop, whoop. Let's get after that core today, y'all. Um, we are always fighting the core, right? So Flat Belly Friday. I want to get after it. We're going to do some side plank torso twists. And before we get started on this, for those of you that cannot do planks, they can be elevated. So you can do them up against a wall, on a table, on a couch. Up against a wall, if you're doing any of these planks, you want to be in that plank position that you would be on the floor. So armpits and wrists are lined up, fingers are spread out, and there's your plank. Everything's pulled up. If it's a side plank, the same thing. You're planking the same direction you would on the wall. So we're going to do some side planks when we're doing these. I want one foot in front of the other if you're using the wall your arm up and you're reaching under for these side plank torso twists that we're gonna do. We're also gonna do a plank knee to elbow. So if you are down on the ground, it's gonna be different. I'm showing the modifications. Plank knee to elbow, up, up. That's your plank knee to elbow, okay? Then we're gonna go down on the ground and we're gonna do froggy legs. I'm actually gonna use my boasted ball for that, but you don't have to. You can sit on a couch or a table or a bench to get these in. It's a great way to get a little bit more range of motion, going deeper with those legs and hitting that real deep pelvic floor area. That part where we get like incontinence, we pee our pants when we laugh or we're jumping, something like that, or you run and you pee your pants. So really great to go below that range of motion to really get that strength in that lower abdominal floor. And we're gonna do bird dog holds for 20 seconds on each side and then triangles. Okay, so let's get warmed up. Okay, today we are gonna do something a little different in our warm up. I have my trusty walking stick <laughs> and we're gonna warm up our shoulders this way. We're gonna do these things called good morning. So you're gonna put a broom, a stick, whatever it is you've got on your shoulders. You're going to be, your elbows are bent. Your hands are lined up like you're holding a weight because normally this would be a weight. And these are called good mornings and you're gonna bend down, flat back and back up. Turn to the side so you can see my body position, down and back up. My knees are slightly bent, my core is pulled in and engaged. This bar is directly on my shoulders. I'm pinching my shoulder blades. And five, six, pull it in. Seven, squeeze those glutes when you come up. Nine, ten, two more. One, and last one. Okay. We're gonna go into some squat twists. We wanna get that core warmed up. Knees are staying behind the toes. Got my baggy pants on. Who needs something fancy to go into the gym and work out? I think my head's cut off here, but I'm not sure. Okay, sides, sideways, core's pulled in. Pelvic floor is engaged. Squat, open palm twist, look to the back. Pull it in, look to the back. Squeeze, make sure those knees do not go over your toes like you're sitting back into a chair. This is really going to help those glutes too. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to do a little different squat reach. Okay, and so again, feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, toes are facing forward. Squat, and we're gonna reach to the front. Reach to the front. Pull that core in when you're reaching. Straight out in front of you, okay? Well, not exactly. It's kind of diagonal, not straight out. Pull it out and pull it in. Resistance on both sides, right? And here we go. Last two, one, two. Get that lower body warmed up, okay? Let's do some butt kickers. Okay, so butt kickers, what are those? You're just kicking your legs up, trying to hit your rear end with your heels. Kick, kick. You can do jumping jacks if you want here. But I am doing nice low impact here today. Low to no impact. Keep going. We got 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. We're gonna go round the world, people. Here we go, let's sweep the floor. Round the world, get those feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. You're sweeping the floor and reaching to each side like you're blowing in the wind. Four, five, and switch sides and around the world. Three, four, last one, best one, pull it all in, and five, okay. So again, remember if we're doing these planks and you cannot do planks, the modifications are on the wall. Plank, wrists are in line with the armpits and shoulders. There's your plank on the wall, just a straight plank. Side plank, same thing. Front foot or top leg is right in front of your back foot and you're holding that plank position. That's the side plank. So we're gonna do some side plank torso twists. So we're gonna start on the wall and I'm gonna go down to the ground. Modification, here we go. Pull everything in, kick that butt out, and back up. Kick that butt and back out. Pull that core in all the way. Get it in. Here we go, I'm gonna go down to the ground and do these. Yikes! Okay, and you can do this on your elbow too. Oops, this is the side plank, sorry. And in and up, press that rear end up, press it up. And five, four, three, two, last one. And we're gonna switch sides. I'm gonna take my glasses off because they are falling off. Okay, switch sides, take a nice deep breath. Again, on the wall, or you're in the side plank, front foot is planted in front of the back foot, or you can stack them if you're super strong and press. Press that rear end up. Three, get that rear end up, guys. You're reaching to the middle. Keep going. You got this. These are really great for the obliques and that lower abdominal floor. And three, press, two, and one. Finish strong. Okay, plank, knee to elbow. Modification, plank, knee to elbow, knee to elbow, right? Nice deliberate moves, super slow and deliberate. I'm going down on the ground. You can do these on your elbows as well. So do it this way and up, okay? I'm going up high. Here we go, people. Knee to elbow, nice flat back. Bring that knee in, pull it in. You can also do these down in tabletop and just reaching with your knee in tabletop, okay? Keep going, we're almost there. And breathe, flat belly Friday. And last two, press up, stand up on your feet. Okay, the next thing is down on the floor, on a couch, flat on the ground. I'm gonna do it on my bolsa ball. Okay, we're doing froggy legs. So I'm gonna lean slightly back. You can do the same thing on the ground. Froggy legs. Froggy leg circles. In and out. Super easy, okay? Well, maybe not. <laughs> okay, here we go. Circle in and out. Bosu ball, I love the balance of it. Not to mention that you're coming deep. Down in, leg circles. Lower pelvic floor. Super deep pelvic muscles, those ones that make you pee in your bladder. Whew. And we're gonna switch and go to the other side. And 10, nine, eight. Whoops, let's start that over. 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, the next thing is bird dog holds. Down on the ground, tabletop position, get your body lined up, wrists are in line with those armpits, pull the core in, thumb up, foot flexed, and you're holding for 20 to 30 seconds. Whew. Nice deep breath. This is where you get your air back. Pull in through that pelvic floor, zip that rib cage up, never let it loose. Pull it in, this is your balance muscles. Lift with that glute. Glute is fully engaged. Whew, we're burning. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and down. Switch. Here we go. Take a deep breath in. And press with that glute. That's a glute lift, not a leg lift. Thumb is straight up. Everything is tight. We are shaking and burning, people. Whoo! Quarantine workouts. Let's send that positive vibe to everybody that needs it today. There's a lot of negativity going around out there. I choose to focus on the positives in this. This is our opportunity to get our health and wellness back and reconnect with loved ones and friends that we've lost touch with. So let's take this opportunity to stay strong. Focus on your health and fitness and your family. Last five seconds. Whew, I'm shaking. Three, two, one. And down. The next thing we're doing is triangles. Triangles. So this is for those obliques. Elbow is in line with your armpit. Your elbow and knee are going to meet with this. So and all the way up with that arm, two, three, five, squeeze. You see my upper body is not bending, my elbow is coming down, I'm squeezing in that lat, squeezing the deltoids, the triceps, the biceps, <sighs> obliques, <sighs> three more, <sighs> two, three, whoop. Change sides, and here we go. Elbows in line with the armpit. Here we go, guys. Pulse. Bring that elbow down. Squeeze that oblique. Do not bend at the waist. Bring the knee and elbow up to meet each other. Keep that toe facing forward. Soft knee. Pull the core in. Here we go. I know I make lots of noise. <laughs> That's so how you know I'm breathing. Last two. One and two. Whew, shake that out. Okay, guys. That's your flat belly workout. You can do two to three more sets of that. And remember, use the modifications for planks up against the wall. I heard a lot of people say, well, I was talking with some fitness people yesterday and was told that if you can't do a plank that you don't do a plank. Well, you've got to start somewhere. So start on the wall and work your way down. As you get stronger on the wall, you go to a bench, a chair, a couch, whatever it is, a table. You just keep getting lower until you're strong enough to hold that plank. You can start a plank on your elbows too on the ground. One of the things that I have my clients do that cannot do planks on the ground is I get them in this tabletop position with their elbows locked together and I make them pull up and squeeze everything and hold. So this is also considered a plank, but it is a plank and tabletop. And it's definitely will get your core going and firing. So you're squeezing, your pelvic floor is tucked under, everything is squeezed tight. So another way to do a plank, if you cannot get down on the floor. And that's your gateway to doing push-ups. 
another thing at least this fitness crew was telling me that if my clients cannot do push-ups that you don't teach them a push-up and I really don't believe that I think we can do push-ups for the rest of their life our lives and if you're shown how to do it the proper way with modifications initially to get the strength back up you will be able to be doing a push-up on the ground Okay, um, I have clients of mine that can do one push-up when they started with me and they're up to 50. So in, a, in one sitting, one session. So, and they're not 50 all at once, okay? But there's up to 50 push-ups, period, in that session throughout our three to four sets, which is phenomenal when you couldn't even do one, okay? So, and they're on the ground. So, and with their knees bent, but they're getting ready to kick those feet up into planks. So it's definitely doable. You can do anything you set your mind to. Your body is super strong. And really, the body, human body, is such an amazing mechanism. Your body can do pretty much anything you ask of it. It's your mind you have to convince. So convince yourself that you can do this. Tell yourself you can do this and just start. Start with one thing, one day, one thing. Okay, you guys, it's great having you all here. Great fun. We'll be chatting soon. Flat Belly Friday.